What's up, everybody? Hope everyone uh, has had a great Christmas and New Year's. I know this video is a little late, um, but anyway, we're getting it out there. Just wanted to say thank you to all who watch my channel and who has subscribed to my channel. I great, greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I know it's a little late. Um, me and my wife were in the hospital January 2nd having our second child, so we've been a little busy. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you everyone hope everyone has a great year looking forward to this one ourselves uh, as you can see uh, we have some ribbons and some wood carvings and it's from the uh, big stone gap virginia show and Sevierville show and i competed uh, with this one in big stone gap and this one in big stone gap and all four of them it's Sevierville and got second place in the open category very happy uh man it's my first was 2023 was my first year actually competing in a wood carving competition so learned a lot there was a uh just insanely good carvers at each uh, at each show uh got to meet some of them as you guys have seen in the videos just fantastic people uh so anyway uh, got second place. Uh, was very fortunate to get second place. Uh, was very happy to get second place. I'm going to show you guys these little miniatures a little bit later. The camera's not picking them up that great. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and show you the Christmas ornaments right fast. And I'll show you my first one here. And this guy is made out of basswood. I uh, kind of did a little spin. Uh, a little different twist or spin to his hat so if you can see that there kind of looks like that and on the back kind of hollowed out at the back and whatnot it just kind of curls around and the beards coming around the tassel there I believe is what it's called but anyway that this is Santa Claus number one and he is acrylic paints and I believe I finished him with bold linseed oil. I'm pretty sure that is how I finished that guy. Number two is another Santa Claus ornament with a kind of, well, no, it's, I got the hat coming around different on this one, but that is number two. And on the back of this one is uh, just kind of carved you know, the whole thing, whatnot. But as you can see, this one has no finish whatsoever. I did not put a finish on this guy. All he has is paint. And uh, it turned out great. Very pleased with him. But yeah, those uh, those two carvings are my my first. Well, this one's my this was my first ever competition piece in wood carving competition. Is that one right there? So this is very happy they actually placed because i'm telling you guys the competition was wow them guys know how to carve <laughs> they are very good very good the camera might pick up these i'll go ahead and see this is a, a miniature that i did he's got this little jacket in the back this little hat and the face in the hat actually as you can see and this guy, I uh, haven't painted him yet. I actually just left him, left him natural. And I'm hoping that the camera can pick it up. But he was he was fun to do. He's actually kind of hard to do, <laughs> as you can you can see. But yeah, he got second at Sevierville. Was very pleased. And that show, man, I love those shows. Those are great shows. I got to see some some good friends of mine at these shows. They're like homecomings, basically, you know, for all of us to get together like once, twice a year. So we had a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, that's the that's the carvings that I I wanted to show you guys. And there was something else, as you can see, I have my old wood carving box here and my new wood carving box. So I'm gonna get rid of this stuff and we'll show you my new wood carving box. See, this is my old wood carving box that I still have it here in the shop that are is basically stationary because it's 
really doesn't have a top to it um but i i, I love this thing it has been with me a long time uh, and i'll show it to you uh you guys right fast uh, again I, I had a video on it uh i think it was last year we did one but several holes you can put some extra stuff down there it's got uh i don't know how many holes that are actually in this or how many tools it will actually hold but a good many um and different size holes for different tools like your micro tools fit in there really good and back here of course you know those who know me look know i love my pocket knives so i have a you know a pocket pocket knife uh case in here that is built in uh my uh, wife's grandfather actually built this for me it is a very special box so calvin if you're watching i greatly appreciate you man and uh in here some more tools wood case pocket knives of course can never have too many knives right too many and not enough and so we got that slides out like that and uh some more knives in there and whatnot and that's basically basically it for this box make sure that gets shut and so for the new one um the reason that i went ahead and did another box is because uh this was kind of hard to carry and it didn't have a top and i didn't want to lose any tools here and this one is actually i tried my best to go off of gary phelan's wood carving box i really liked the way his simplicity is had a top to it and it had a, a handle on top for you to for, for you to carry your stuff for your tools and uh and it's and people might ask well what what might be the difference between the uh, weight of the box and it uh i guess it just depends on the person i guess uh <laughs> really but uh this one's not bad guys i'll show you here in a minute let me put this one back down and we'll have some more room on the table when i open up uh this one right here so give me just a minute all right guys let's open this guy up uh he's made out of three quarter inch pine pine wood uh, put snaps on there to keep it shut and locked tight uh, open it this way so i'm going to plan to put something up here that comes down on the tools to keep them a little bit more sturdy and whatnot but as you can see it's got plenty of room piece of leather there to throw out wherever i'm carving at and lay it down so let me move some of this stuff so you can guys can see all that's in here and so basically yeah it's a wood carving box stained it dark brown and i've got the measurements here for you guys that might want to make one similar or one like this it's 23 inches um across with it closed from here to here is 23 inches across and from the top down is nine and three quarters inch oh from bottom to top and going inside the box from from inside here to the inside of where that pocket knife is at is um 21 and a half going across inside and the deep how deep it is is going to be 10 and three quarters inch deep from back to front and it has 76 uh holes that are drilled in it so like i said I, you know i like tools i like using tools i got plenty of them um got more than enough so but it's just uh you know i enjoy enjoy having my tools with me got some other stuff like tape thumb guards you know some glue uh, pocket knives of course you know i got all those and uh i just keep my micro tools in the bag so i'm trying not to lose them anyway and just throw them on top and of course my wood carving glove we'll start carving with a get used to a carving glove again because i know i need to because i want to continue carving and i don't want anything to accidentally happen happen to my hand or my fingers to cut a tendon or go too deep and cause me to be out of carving for a while so i think it was a smart move to get a carving glove from mr bob standlander i believe is where i got that so bob if you're watching appreciate it man but uh like i said guys this box over here i'll always uh, i love that box i'll always have that box um you know to stay here in the shop but with this one and me you know going around and traveling and you know wanting to carve in a little bit this is you know this is what i'm going to be uh 
carrying with me. So this was uh, finished on December 7th, 2023. And it's a dark stain. I stained it with and have a little bit of trim here. It's this thin trim that I went around the, the top with. And of course these, I got these off of eBay. Um, it's like it's a furniture elbow arm. I think something like that it was called. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, I mean, going back to the weight, um, I know that's a big deal for, I mean, it's a big deal for me too. I mean, I don't want to carry around a hundred pound box everywhere I go, but this one's not bad. You know, it's, you know, it's still hefty, but it's not, you know, unbearable. So that's the box guys. I wanted to show it to you. Uh, thank all of you who watch and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys watch out for more wood carving videos coming your way. We'll see you soon.